Hello, Jason Widrow here, Online Strategy Podcast. So today, I'm going to quickly go over with you some interesting things about McAfee's Website Advisor. This is a tool that they created to scan websites to determine if they are threatening in any way, if they're not threatening, different types of reports. So I do want to let you know that I have run across considerable amount of false positives, meaning that websites have been identified in a certain way and they're not actually a threat in any way. And this can happen when systems like that get generalized in their function and basically it's more leaning towards error than not and so we get these false positives. So what I'm going to do is show you some of the false positives that occur and what they look like and some of the true threats. All right, so here we go. I'm going to start off with the very risky warning and you will see this. You know, this is a site that they've decided is extremely dangerous. There's something very risky. Now, I've seen false positives on this. This is not uncommon to see a false po positive. So if your website does get this, just know that there may be nothing wrong and it just needs to be alleviated, okay? It always does beg the question though, how did this happen in the first place and why was it triggered? And sometimes you can find that data easily and sometimes it does require getting down in the dirt, getting down in the website code and really looking for it. So here we go. I'm gonna go over to the slightly risky this is kind of funny to me, slightly risky. Um, you know, it's just, it's like, it could be bad, it couldn't, you know. And this pups down here, this PUPS, basically this just represents, you know, the types of things like things that people might not want when they go to a website, things that might annoy people. And I guess McAfee's just calling it out and saying it could be risky, slightly risky. I just, I just think it's slightly comical. <laughs> so um, anyway, this one is quite common and definitely, definitely a lot of false positives on this. I mean, you could have a pop-up on your website that asks for someone's email address, you know, to join your mailing list. And this slightly risky could, could be, a, your website could be identified as slightly risky for McAfee users. So something to keep in mind. Now, then I'm going to go over to the positive, safe. So we all like this one. This is, you know, clear to see, clear as day, website safe. Now, the categorization, one thing to understand about how, how black, blacklists work is basically there's all these different lists, different companies create different lists and it, you could consider them to be naughty lists, right? And there's all different types of blacklists, but right now we're talking about websites, the domain name. Like if you have yourwebsite.com, that's your domain name. So that name can be blacklisted. Now McAfee has their own blacklist. Whether Google and other organizations choose and decide to use the different statuses from the McAfee blacklist is up to that company and the way they treat it. So. The point is, is blacklist, you get on these lists and you have to resolve it. So just to jump back real quickly, you know, on the pups thing, that was that one I showed you with the slightly risky here. And we've got, you know, they just tell you what it means here on the website. What I had open earlier was actually a, just a chat, you know, an inch, a, a nice chat dialogue that was in the McAfee forum about somebody who ran into the slightly risky issue and what they did. I've been through this helping different various situations in the past. So I'm pretty familiar with it as well, but it's a good resource, good uh, thread up here. If you wanna go check that out, you can just go to that link. Uh, you know, and then there's obviously, you know, credible reports of false positives. Just wanna make sure that, you know, this information, does, this does happen and it can be really alarming for a business owner, you know, uh, that gets, you know, notification or goes and visits their own website and it says, you know, dangerous, risky, you know, this could be a threat, you know, that kind of stuff can really be alarming for someone who's not technically oriented on this stuff and what can happen. 
And all I can say is, you know, we live in a very unperfect, unperfect technological world where we do run into these types of issues. And um, fortunately, McAfee does make it pretty simple to resolve them. And uh, with the correct data and information to them, it can be resolved pretty quickly and, and then you can be cleaned up, you know. So one thing, let's see here. I wanted to look at one more thing uh, on this. That's about it. Yeah, I mean, and one other thing just to keep in mind here, I'll jump back over. So, you know, just read their statement here. You know, we regularly scan website for suspicious or malicious activity, and this one just isn't safe. You'll find out more details below. And it's just categorized malicious site. So when this does happen as a false positive, it can be damaging to you because you anyone using this software and even another a search engine potentially taking this data and using it to find the credibility or val validity of a website and thus potentially punishing you and removing you from the search engine or dropping your rank in some way so there's all kinds of like repercussions and things that can happen when we get into these blacklists Okay, well, I don't want to get into a big detailed thing on that. The purpose of this video was just to orient you on some of the McAfee warnings, you know, as we went over the very risky, the safe, and the always comical, slightly risky. You know, so, and even they say here, you know, we scanned this site and found it's not as secure as it should be. Please click with caution. So, I mean, anyone who sees this, most consumers and most users, I mean, you might as well you might as well make it very risky because most consumers are going to see that and like I, i'm just not going to click i don't i don't i lost trust immediately you know okay well i hope that this was helpful look if you if you're running into this issue and you can't resolve it you don't know what's going on feel free to reach out to me you can just shoot me uh, an email just fill out uh, the form on onlinestrategypodcast.com Go ahead and fill that out. We'll get notified about it, and we'll see if we can help you debug if you run into this issue. Hey, thanks a lot for uh, for chiming in today. Always fun to have you with us. And, uh, and of course, if you do have any online technical questions or anything like that, onlinestrategypodcast.com. Go ahead and just uh, submit the question over there. Thank you so much. Have a great day.